Okay. We have question nine here from the May 2017 CSEC maths paper. Let's see what it says. The graph, the velocity time graph below shows the motion of a cyclist over a period of 40 seconds. Let's see. Okay, you have the 40 seconds here. Horizontal axis is time in seconds. Vertical axis is velocity in meters per second. We see that um, we have a line here from origin O up to A sloping upwards as you go left to right then between A and B it's flat all right now let's see what they ask us to do calculate the gradient of OA <coughs> all right the gradient is going to give you the slope how much does this line slope compared to how much it um well how much it slopes how steep it is sloping so you're looking at how much the line rises compared to how much it runs horizontally so one way you can remember to calculate the gradient is rise divided by run Say the gradient OA, how much does it rise? Divided by how much it runs. Now, one way you can do that is form a right angle triangle. From one end, you draw a horizontal line. From the other end, you draw a vertical line. Where the horizontal and vertical line meet, that is a right angle right here. Now, how much does it rise? The height of this triangle is 10. So the rise is 10, and it tells it in meters per second. Divide by the run, how much does it run? It runs 25 seconds. So the width of that triangle is 25 you can simplify it 5 into 10 2 5 into 25 5 so it's 2 fifth well this gradient huh, is 2 fifth in this case what about AB AB is this line runs from A to B alright but the thing is, going from A to B doesn't rise at all, nor does it fall, it doesn't go up or down. So if I should calculate the gradient of AB, the rise would be zero, right? Using the same formula divided by the run, how much does it run? It runs between 40 and 25. So 40 minus 25. So what does that give you? For the minus 25, that is 15. But then 0 divided by 15 is 0. So the gradient is 0. <coughs> Alright. So let's see here. The cycle started from rest. In part 2, complete the following statements. The cycle started from rest, where his velocity was. Well, if it's from rest, then it would be 0 meters per second and steadily increase his velocity by that meters per second each second during the first 25 seconds so it's from O to A well this gives you meters per second per second so it's two fifth alright so this is two fifth meters per second each second during the first 25 seconds then during the next 15 seconds the next 15 seconds okay that's between a and b his velocity remained constant that is his acceleration was that 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 meters per second squared to zero 
zero meters per second squared, right? So that's what you have for part two. What what do they say about part three now? Determine the average speed of a cyclist over the 40 second period. Well, let's go through these markings for now and see what that is all about. The average speed. This is from 0 to 10 over 25 seconds. The average speed between 0 and 25 would have been 5, halfway between 0 and 10. But then, here, between A and B, you have 10 flat. So, the average speed between 25 and 40 seconds is really 10. So, you have an average speed of 5 here. Then, an average speed of 10 is going to jack up the value somewhere between 5 and 10. But we can use proportion, you know. You could say that the average speed is 5 for 25 40th of the time and 10 for 15 40th of the time all right and do a little calculation here let's see what happened here the average speed for the first 25 seconds is 5 but the proportion for the whole 40 second is is 25 40 at half the time so you have 5 meter per second average for 25 40 at half the time all right let's add that to the next average it should be 10 time what proportion between 25 and 40 is 15 40 at half the time so in this case, 5 into 5, 1, 5 into 48 is 25, 8 plus 10 to 10, 1, 10 into 40 was 4, 15 fourth. So let's see. We could use decimal here, 25, 8, 25 over 8 plus 15 over 4 gives you 6 and 7, 8. In this case, the decimal value will be 6.875 meters per second. Alright, so review it and ensure you understand what was done.